Today's video topic will change your thoughts about the country of the desert, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is the largest country in the Arab Peninsula and is well known for its vast oil reserves. The oil is currently the main source of income for this nation. It produces 10 billion barrels daily and exports them to more than 80 countries around the globe. As we know, oil is non-renewable energy and will deplete one day. According to a Stanford University study, the oil is unlikely to last very long. There is evidence that the crude oil we have been using for the past 150 years is about to run out, which is the oil resources below the ground are about to exhaust. In the research, it was assumed that by 2052 crude oil will get exhausted or its quantity will remain so low that extracting it wouldn't be profitable. So, after 2052, how will Saudi Arabia survive? That's why Mohammed bin Salman, a young leader of Saudi Arabia and the nation's current prime minister, launched initiatives that could boost tourism in the country to break free from oil dependency. One of them, the Line Project, represents the advancement of human civilization. You may have seen this architectural design that went viral online. This will be the world's first and largest straight-line city, featuring cutting-edge architecture. According to drone footage, the line in Saudi Arabia has already begun construction. Most people who have expressed their opinions on the project in recent months have remarked that it is too large to construct and more resembles something from a science fiction film. The question is, how will this turn out now that construction has actually started? Let's find out. What is Neom, the line? Three initiatives under the name of Neom were announced. A floating city named Octagon, a ski resort in the mountains called Trien, and a 170 kilometer long mirror city named the line. Neom is the location in Tabuk province, northwest of the Saudi kingdom. The prince of the Saudi kingdom, Mohammed bin Salman, announced the project of the line on January 10, 2021, and Saudi Crown Prince's dream is to complete this project in 2030. He suggested two buildings stretching 170 kilometers through the desert, each 500 meters tall and built of reflecting glass, to place the population of 9 million in this vertical and carbon-free city. This city will be very different from other cities worldwide because it will be a single, long line stretching 170 kilometers, unlike other cities that spread out from a central point. To put it in perspective, it would be equivalent to two lines of 2001 World Trade Centers each. Not only is the line the largest mega project ever proposed, but also it's a new way to live. All of your needs would be met within a five minute walk and there wouldn't be any cars inside the city. It will be bordered by the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aqaba. The Egyptian city of Sharm el-Sheikh, already a popular tourist destination, is only five kilometers from its coast. Both of the country's leaders intend to link Neom and Sharm el-Sheikh with a bridge, which will benefit both countries' economies and boost tourism. The Structure of the Line the benefits of the vertical line city are vast, and it will serve as a model for elevating society to new heights. The city will have three levels, with no roads or automobiles on the ground level. The first layer will be enriched with nature, and walkers will stroll through it. While the second layer, known as the service layer, will house all the shops, offices, malls, roads, and cars will be present at this level. The third level of the line will serve as the city's backbone because it will be built with an ultra-high-speed transportation system that can move passengers throughout the city's 170 kilometers in under 20 minutes. The city's infrastructure, including its electrical system, transportation network, and industrial sectors, will all be powered by renewable energy, setting it apart from other cities in the globe. Although the city will pass the Red Sea's coastline, most of its route will be across 4,500-foot-high mountains. The Saudi government has given this section Trienner. 
During construction, no mountain will be damaged. Instead, the development will use the beauty of the surrounding natural terrain. The Line City's location has been selected so that 40% of the world's population can travel here in less than four hours. Beginning of construction. There was a mix of amazement, awe, and mistrust in response to the suggestion. There was also very little information on what was happening on the building site. However, the trailers were viewed millions of times on YouTube and other sites. On October 19, 2022, Moti Sky released drone footage of the construction site. In the video, people are seen using excavators to dig trenches along the desert, which will serve as the line's foundation. Based on the drone imagery, the excavation already extends far inland. The Neom website released the footage of the latest construction glimpse of the project at the start of 2023. The three-minute video also reveals the construction workers laying the Mega Project's foundation. In an interview with Al Arabiya TV, the CEO of Neom, Nadmi Al Nasser, stated that construction in the futuristic city is proceeding according to plan. Furthermore, additional infrastructure is being constructed around the entire project. There are numerous developments evident on Google Maps. In the mountains, a whole complex with offices and camps, a Neom community with a football field and swimming pools, and a Neom Experience Center. Future of Neom Even though the construction has started, people still wonder if this mega project will complete or halt like the Jeddah Tower or the Dubai Creek Tower, a project whose progress is still unknown. Each time, stunning visuals and lofty promises were presented. When construction first began, it appeared that the structures would be finished. But after that, everything stopped and nothing further was accomplished. However, this world-changing project is backed by the wealthiest Saudi crown family, whose net worth is more than $1.4 trillion and more likely to achieve the goal. Bringing the project close to completion would provide Saudi Arabia with a fantastic opportunity to attract more tourists and investment. According to the top official of the project, Neom, the $500 billion megacity in Saudi Arabia, has nearly finished 20% of its infrastructural projects. As more than 500 athletes from 25 countries competed in the Neom Beach Games in 2022, the kingdom is also bringing Neom to the world's attention. Moreover, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has won the bid to host the Asian Winter Games 2029 at Neom. This brings more investors toward the Neom project. Following the uprising popularity of the Neom project, Ennis Moore, the world's fastest growing lifestyle brand, has joined Triana as its first hotel partner. Saudi Airlines has started direct flights to Neom from London and Dubai to connect the world to Neom. From the progress and efforts of the kingdom, this project will likely be the first ever straight line city available to humans with state of the art technologies and development. Will it be completed in 2030? Or will it take more years to complete? Let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. See you then in the next video.